out. Look at all these, look at all these little pockets in the rocks up here. And there's just tons of them all over there and over here, back this way. <laughs> you can see my, uh, my uh, camera bag hanging on the, ba on the, uh, on the bottom of my um, Pro Media Gear tripod there because it is extremely windy. Oh my God. A, uh, a little bit of a winter storm rolled in last night and I think it dropped some snow up in the mountains, but down here it just got really, really cold. And so it's really cold, really windy right now. Uh, it's supposed to be down into the teens tonight, which does not sound fun at all. Look at these, these giant craters up here. And there was a little bit of rain last night. So uh, all of these little pockets here filled up and they all just have a little bit of water in them. And of course, eventually it'll all dry out. But right now, really beautiful, really nice that there's a little bit of water. And then the main event, I mean, check <laughs> this out. This is absolutely crazy. It's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, kind of describe what the scale of this is like. Damn, it is so huge. And then there's uh, some out this way to the north as well. Another large one there. And it looks like there's a really nice little valley down here in between with more fantastic rock formations down there. Wow. This is just, this is just beautiful back here. This is really wild. I think I definitely want to go down that way into that valley and go check that out down there and maybe get out of this wind. This is the thing about, about Utah. I was talking to somebody the other day actually about this. Places like this in any other state would be a very popular state park or possibly even a national park but here in Utah, <laughs> you know, Utah already has so many of those things. I mean, it already has incredible state parks and national parks. It has an abundance of those things. And so it doesn't, it doesn't need any more. <laughs> and so here, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is not anything special. This is just more of the same. And so it's not a, it's not a park. Whereas if this were any place else, it absolutely would be, and it would be teeming with people right now. It'd be absolutely full of people. But out here, it's just Utah. <laughs> Utah is such, Utah is always so full of surprises. Seems like every time I come here, I always try to, you know, find something new, find something I haven't photographed before, find something that I haven't seen a lot of other people photograph either. And that's when I find places like this. And, um, oh, and it's just so, so cool. So I found a little something here, uh, you know, in line with what I was talking about earlier about finding like a nice little pocket somewhere where the sun isn't too bright. And I found this really nice little opening right here in between these two rocks with this other rock in the background. And of course, with this rock in the background, anytime you're able to find a shape that has a nice, like, you know, upward facing uh, arrow like that, like a point at the top, it's, you know, it's just like an arrow in graphic design. Like it gives it energy, it gives it direction. And that point back there, you know, especially when shooting vertically, just gives the image like a, like a vertical lift. And, um, and it's awesome and it looks really, really good. The tricky thing about a shot like this though, and this is something else that I've learned uh, over time from doing this, is that when you're shooting in the middle of the day like so, when it's obviously very bright out, the dynamic range of the scene is definitely wider um, than what the camera can see. So, you know, obviously the answer then is to bracket your exposure, right? Expose for the highlights, put the camera in manual mode, expose for the highlights up here, and then, you know, speed up the shutter speed, use a fixed aperture, 
uh, like a fixed aperture value for all the images so that you don't change your depth of field too much. You know, crank up the shutter speed so that you expose for the highlights up there, create three images of that. Then focus down here and then slow down the shutter speed a good deal and then capture three images of this here. Then you have six images total. One where you focused here on the foreground and one over there. So you are, ooh, sun's going behind a cloud. Uh, maybe I won't have to do that. Anyway, but then you have a focus stacked HDR image uh, comprised of uh, six different exposures. Uh, one where you're exposing for highlights and one where you are exposing for the shadows. So uh, what you're looking at over here behind me, this is, uh, this is called Dance Hall Rock, which sounds like some old uh, <laughs> like Studio One uh, reggae track or something. Uh, but it's called Dance Hall Rock because this uh, was once used apparently by uh, Mormon pioneers. They used this as a performance space. Echo, echo. Yeah, there's like no echo this way, but as soon as you get like right, right here. Echo, echo. Yeah, I can only imagine what this, what this must have sounded like with, um, you know, people singing and playing instruments. Check this out. This is so awesome. There's just a lone tree growing out of this uh, pocket in the rock here, which makes sense because, you know, you know, dirt and sand collects down in there. And then when it rains, you know, it fills up with water. So it's probably, it's probably a great habitat for a, <laughs> for a tree to be growing. So awesome. And I'm actually getting some of this light from the sun here. It's a nice side light on the, uh, on the, what leaves remain on this tree just before the light drops behind the hill over there and it's illuminating the top of the leaves here. So I'm getting a little bit of that, getting some snow flurries as well, which is kind of crazy. But this hole in the lines in the ground here, just moving around, uh, you know, moving, you know, ebbing and flowing around this opening here with this tree coming up and the light lighting up these uh, leaves. Really, really cool. Did not expect to find this at all. So that is going to do it for Dance Hall Rock. Uh, what, a, what a pretty awesome evening this was. This was, uh, this was pretty great. This and uh, Sooner Rocks further, a little bit further down. Really beautiful, really just gorgeous area of Utah back in here that's rather remote. Um, probably does not see a lot of uh, foot traffic. Um, but those who do, you know, drive down here are rewarded with, um, with what's a pretty fantastic and unspoiled landscape back here. And these rocks were just, were just fantastic. Really, really interesting, really beautiful. I could spend probably a few days like just here and down at Sooner and some of the other uh, really beautiful rocks 
and some of the really beautiful landscapes that are just all around here. It's just, it's just, you know, it's just uh, overflowing with opportunity. Well, as always, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to keep in touch with me and do this again in the future, let's do it. Subscribe to my channel. You can uh, tap or click the uh, red subscribe button down below. Go to toddomini.com, sign up for my weekly email newsletter if you would like to uh, keep in touch with me that way. That's another way to do so. All right, folks, that's it. See you in the next one.